Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is a special video for all CAD aspirants out there. All of you going for CAD over the next uh, year or... In, in fact, uh, this is a video which is relevant for uh, for uh, any CAD aspirant I've talked to for the last 10 years and will be relevant for uh, uh, going, going forward into the future. And uh, it's a very important topic I'm bringing to you. So without any further ado, let's... Uh, um, Let's straight away go into the topic for the day. And I have mentioned this in my earlier uh, videos, etc. That uh, blitz solving is very critical in uh, CAD. And it's not just CAD. It's actually in any competitive exam. So there are, there are times when you, when you inside an exam. I mean, let's say if you are a, if you're a person who's literally solving a question uh, every, uh, every two odd minutes. Let's say if you're solving a question every two minutes in an exam and I'm just giving you a hypothetical situation. Let's say you're talking about a, 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 situ a student who's solving a question every two minutes or maybe solving every question, a question every two and a half minutes. Let's say we talk about the CAD pattern and we're talking about somebody attempting 16 questions in 40 minutes and uh, attempting two and, a half, two and a half minutes per question. If this person, obviously if he wants to improve score, Score improvement, ka ekhi rasta hai. there's only one way, you increase attempts and you increase accuracy. Actually two ways, you either increase attempts or you increase accuracy. It's, it's not no rocket science ki score kaise badhata hai. To, to agar this student can actually take his attempts to 18, 19, increase his uh, score by 2-3 two, two, attempts or increase his attempts by 2-3, his score will automatically go up. So this becomes very crucial in your in your uh, spe specifically in the last phase of CAD prep when you are uh, close to the finish line and when you are trying to develop your uh, your scores or, or take your scores up which a lot of you will be uh, when you are watching this video. So so one way to, to, to improve your uh, speed is that you keep instead of solving two and a half minutes per question you start solving two minutes per question or 2.2 .2 minutes per question. But then that's not so possible you cannot do it on every question but the other way uh, to do it is what I refer to as blitz solving that you see here. So what do I mean by blitz solving? So if you're, if I'm a two and a half minute solver of a question and I can do a specific question, let's say 1.7 minutes. That means I'm, I'm, uh, I'm roughly 150 seconds per question. Instead of that, I can do a question in around 100 seconds. This would be in a blitz solving experience. And, and what that will do is if I can find seven, eight questions during my exam, uh, seven, eight questions during my exam in the entire paper where I can do this, this kind of blitz solving. Uh, my, my scores, my attempts will automatically go up. And if my attempts go up, needless to say, uh, my scores will automatically start going up. So blitz solving is very important in the CAD. And this video is not just a strategic video. I'm also showing you that blitz solving also means uh, at some times, uh, at, at some points in your in your uh, solving process, being a little bit smarter than the question setter, introducing some smarter smarter process of solving, and uh, and uh, being a little bit uh, innovative with your solutions. So uh, here, um, so 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 uh, here I've I've picked up a question for you, where I'm talking about uh, we we already talked about why blitz solving is important. Here I picked up a question for you where I, where I tell you that sometimes it's unconventional thinking that allows you to do blitz solving inside, a, inside, a, inside the exam. So here's a question from CAT. It's geometry. That's the flavor of what I'm doing these days uh, everywhere. So this is a question. I want you to pause the video and try to solve this. And then I'll, I'll try to solve this uh, for you. Uh, I hope uh, you, could, you could think about it. So if I'm trying to solve this conventionally for you, this is the conventional solution. The question says that there's a square who's, which has a side of two meters. Theke? And it has a corners cut away. Fine. So what, are, what is happening is all the, all the corners are getting cut away. So this corner will get cut away. This corner will get cut away. And this corner is cut away. And that corner is cut away. This is what has happened. I mean, I, I know this figure is not exact, but but you get the general drift of what I'm saying. 
and these are cut away in such a way uh, so as to form a regular octagon with all sides equal so that means that uh, if i if i uh, make a cut let's say of a units then then uh, and this is also a then this value is 2 minus 2a and the same value is also by pythagoras theorem on this triangle uh, you can you can see that uh, this value is essentially a root 2 so basically what's going to happen is 2 minus 2a is equal to because because it's a regular oct octagon you're forming a regular regular figure or you you're making a regular octagon which with all sides equal the side which you see as 2 minus 2a in this figure this side and the side you see on the side on this diagonal on this on this uh, on this slanted side these two should be equal so the next step is 2 minus 2a is equal to a root 2 so the value of a uh, will come out as 2a plus a root 2 is equal to 2 and you need to be careful while solving this so so this will start taking a little bit of time so the value of a will be a into 2 plus root 2 is equal to 2 so the value of a comes out as 2 upon 2 plus root 2 and if you divide by root 2 right through both numerator and denominator if you divide this by root 2 right through what you will get uh, to end this problem is that the value of a let me write it here the value of a will be root 2 upon root 2 plus 1 but it's not the value of a they have asked you they have asked you the value of the side of the octagon and since we know that the side of the octagon is a root 2 i just have to multiply this uh, this expression by root 2 and when i do that i'll get get the answer as 2 upon root 2 plus 1 so if you if you go through this normally uh, this is the approach this is the geometry approach uh, uh, 2 upon root 2 plus 1 and hence option b is the right answer so this would be the normal process and because this this process specifically around this level this this uh, point in the question will involve a lot of writing it will involve a lot of writing so um, it will take you a minute and a half to two and a half minutes and not give you that blitz that you require here now there is an alternate thought uh, through which uh, this is a cat question cat 2001 as you can see and there is an alternate thought that i keep talking about in my in my classes to my students that this is something you can do in a question like this and if i am in a in a situation where i where the doctor is ordering a blitz uh, solving process for me uh, let let me just show you what is possible in this question i want to get through this question i am forcing myself to get to an answer and i don't want to do any any writing and i want to do everything mentally and i want to solve it and please remember one thing if you are doing something without writing your uh, your your speed of solving automatically becomes drastically better right so if i if i look at my first option the the question is talking about the side of the octagon right so when i look at my first option the the, the answer is the value of this is uh, 1.41 and uh, this is all this is around 2.41 so approximately 0 0.6 is the value of this so if i try to think about 0 0.6 is the value of the side of the octagon that means this must be 0 0.6 and this must be 0 0.6 because these are both sides of the octagon and because uh, uh, this is equal to that because you'll have to cut it on the same uh, value you get a ridiculous situation where uh, uh, a is 0.7 approximately and you are getting a right angle triangle which is looking like this with the hypotenuse is 0.6 and the and the base and height the legs are 0.7 each which is obviously not possible so so you can actually uh, uh, ignore this question this 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 option it's straight it's 10 seconds flat where you can see and specifically if your if your number crunching skills are good then you can actually reject this option flat 10 seconds without writing anything and if you look at look at this this is even more ridiculous because this is giving me a value of 2 divided by 0 
so if this is the right answer what it is telling me that the side of the octagon here uh, which is this value has to be around 5 now when the whole square has only a side of 2 this is actually a ridiculous option it won't work and on the same logic option d also gets rejected because this is 1.4 divided by 0.4 approximately and this is giving me a value of 3.5 which is again greater than the side of the square and and this won't work at all uh, this can't work so it's pretty obvious that this has to be the answer and you have done it without writing anything you can do this whole thing in your mind ki uh, logically hai aur aise tumko teen char question bhi exam mein mil gaye you get you find three four question like in this in the exam and you're off you off to a flyer and and you you kind of uh, average out any uh, questions where you took two and a half three minutes to actually solve it because there will always be tedious questions in the exam there will be questions uh, from time to time which will make you uh, solve tediously and there will be no other option or even if there is an option you will not see it so even if you can see this for four five questions in the exam and blitz through those you will uh, end up uh, doing much more than what you are currently doing so try this uh, try this take a little bit of risk as uh, i was watching that serial uh, the harshad mehta serial and uh, he he talks about uh, ishq mein risk hai so 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 that is that is the whole idea you have to take a little bit of risk inside the exam but calculated risk you don't take risk where you go right uh, go go wrong four times out of eight the risk has to be calculated one out of 10 one out of two out of 10 questions if you go wrong even if you're taking a risk but if you are trying to if because of that you're getting three those three extra attempts it might be worth it right so try these try these things uh, uh, for your for your cat prep and this is both for people going for short term as well as long term prep you have to try to find those cases or those those chapters or those question types which allow these kind of blitz for you where you can take the uh, take the uh, initiative take the bull by the horns and solve faster and uh, without without making errors the advice from my side and from the 100 percentile uh, viewpoint is that is that you try to build enough areas in your in your section in each of the sections where you have the capacity to blitz through questions and where you can take these kind of risks these kind of calculated risk i say is question mein if i solve it this way there's absolutely zero risk i can bet my life on the answer with with that uh, thought process right so please look out for these there are a lot of these happening every year in the cat and if you can find a few that's what people like me do inside the exam we we not necessarily solve every question the donkey approach we we look at look for smarter approaches you can see the answer there's so many such cases and please please have a look at uh, at some of the cat problem solving tricks and tips i've given